everyone, it's great to see you. Today I am sharing with you a birthday present that Dan got for me. This is a dwarf ginkgo tree. Its actual type is called American, and it grows to be about three feet tall by three feet wide. So it's gonna stay really, really small. And because it is deciduous, um, it will turn bright yellow in the fall before the leaves fall off and they come back with this nice chartreuse green. And I just love this leaf shape, the way they curl and they have this bright green color. It's going to be awesome. Because it stays so small, we're going to begin this in a pot actually, which is the first time we've actually planted a tree in a pot. And Dan is going to help me because it does weigh a ton. <laughs> for now. I already have some potting soil in the bottom and although we're in the shade at the moment, thank heavens because it is in the 90s today and it is so hot right now, um, this does get a lot of sun throughout the day and ginkgo trees really do like a sunny spot. So I'm going to add a little tree tone which you use for um, fruit and for ornamental trees and just put a little of this in the bottom. Now when you plant a tree like this, you actually leave the burlap on. You just undo it around the top of the tree once it's in here. So hopefully that will make it easier as we put it in. Okay, I need Dan's help again. <laughs> Once the tree was in the pot, we really found that we couldn't shift it much because it was so heavy and we didn't want to harm the trunk or the root ball. The dwarf ginkgo tree actually was originally found as a witch's broom. And a witch's broom is when a full-size tree has this proliferation, this little growth on the side of it on one of its branches that crops up and it looks like a cluster of roots and shoots and uh, basically this was a dwarf ginkgo tree that sort of like grew onto the mama ginkgo tree and because people liked it so much they ended up propagating it. You actually only want to purchase a male dwarf ginkgo tree. The female ginkgo trees have a terrible smelling fruit so you want to make sure if you're going to get one of these that you make sure you're getting the male. With this heat, it really needs a drink. But I think we're looking pretty good. Ah, so here is our new Dwarf Ginkgo American. And I highly recommend that you give a dwarf tree a try. They make so many different varieties. Dwarf fruit trees, dwarf ornamentals. So head down to your nursery and see what they have. And maybe start it in a pot like I'm doing. And just see how that goes for you. If you've had experience growing a dwarf ornamental tree, especially one in a pot, please drop some information down in the comments for me and give me some advice. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.